Hey guys, I'm back. It is 40 degrees out and I put my dogs out back, which is fine. So I'm going to pour some here to, uh, I, I just sewed this board. It is, um, it is a birch board. I just sewed it and painted it. Add a little more of this to my white. It seemed a little thick. You have to use very little. Like when I was mixing these, all of them, I just filled the very tip of this and mixed it in. Do not need a lot of resin. Um, and if you saw my other resin one uh, that I did in Pennsylvania, it was blues and, and black, and I threw a little yellow in. Once you heat this up and get it flowing, it works well, and that wasn't even stone coat. So um, I'm just sort of moving it around here a little bit, getting this covered. I will make sure my sides are covered later. I'm using too many gloves lately. I'm not happy with that, but it is what it is. Um, let's see. Okay, so we're going to start with the Lorez Red Copper. I don't have any real thoughts on this or, or ways that I'm going to plan to do this, but um, I think I'm just going to take it one end to the other, back and forth a little bit. Uh, next, I'm going to put the plum next to it, the luscious plum, which really is very nice. I'll do it like a snake. I'm going to just start actually in here. And something just fell off my table. And put the plum there. I'm going to take this gold I have, which um, is also, it's called Gold Molten from Lorez. I'm going to go right down the middle with it, of these two. I'm going to start here, but go right. Because once we heat this up, they should flow nicely together. And then the extra I have, I can use as I would like. Um, this is the Arabian Nights glitter. I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'm going to hold off on the white until I move this around with my heat gun. Just popping some bubbles right now. Let's see. Come on, Bubbles, I see you. Come to the top. So I got that all nice and hot. I'm going to tilt it a little bit. And I 
actually run it down this corner and tilt it back. I do like when it makes it this watery, if you will. And I'm going to come back to this end side. Me. Well, let me move this now because I. want it to be even, so I need to move that. It's pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's put a little more in here because we have it, right? So I'm going to bring this purple I have in here. use resin you really hate to waste it so I'm just getting it on there um, also going back and getting this red copper basically where I don't see it I'm adding it I don't want to waste so I'm just gonna Black. There we go. Uh, gold. Seems to almost be overtaking it, doesn't it? But I'm going to add some here. Here and down in here. And then let's blow it out again. don't have my end on there so I'm just gonna move it around so I'm trying to make the sides covered with the resin. Turn this around this way. Oh, I hear those dogs outside. Drive me nuts. Only when, ever when I try to do a film do they do this. Well, I film a lot at night after they go to bed with my husband. Get some off the end here. That's great. I'm sure, I'm sure our neighbors do not like us because of our dogs, but they've not said anything, so. Until they do, I'm not going to stop them from barking. All right, well, that looks pretty neat. Now let's put in some of this Arabian Nights glitter. I 
I use so little of this because as you see you don't need a lot and I'm really not like a lot of people take the glitter and build it up with stones I'm not going to do that in this piece I just don't want to do that right now I do have to change my gloves though or break them Glitter looks very cool. I can see now that I could use that actually around some shards of glass if I had any that I was willing to use. But I do not right now. Let me just heat it up again, pardon the noise. Actually, gonna grab a stick and move some stuff around. And now I'm not freaking out about this because I'll just melt it all back together. And I have so much resin yet, and I have a lot of working time. So I am going to put in here. Purple. Full resin that I got here. I think it has enough gold. I'm not doing that anymore. I am going to put the rest of this copper in. right here. All right. And heating up I shall go. I didn't use the white paste I mixed up, and I don't plan to use it. I like these colors together. Just going to move them around. For some reason, that one side moves much easier than the others, but it's all right. Hoping I can get, I can already see some depth on it with the glitter. So I'm hoping that that's what I will get. Uh, if I put a sec, well, I will put a second clear coat on it, but I'm just hoping to get some depth. That would be very cool. I'll take a look at it from all angles. Uh, what's really cool is it. It's like that down the sides. It's that same 
consistency, the mixed, all the way along the sides. I love that. I'm stopping. There's a lot of glitter here, but that's fine because I think when I put a second coat on, that is going to look fabulous, in my opinion. And I don't love some of these lines, but I don't hate them terribly. I don't want to try and tilt it anymore. I want it to be like that. Um, stone coat is soft leveling. So this should level with no problem. My other paintings I did leveled with no problem. Um, I just need to make sure I got my painting level, which it will be here in one second. That's pretty cool, man. I dig it. All right, let's come back in a little bit and see how it looks. So this turned out really well, and I'm very happy with the colors. Please subscribe and share. Leave comments with feedback, and hit like if you enjoyed the video. And join me again.